nikae chini niangalie chini hivi nidungo hiyo sindano so mimi nilikuwa nime tense walijaribu maraishi tatu unaona daktari anakuja kwa like anataka kukuambia nini anakuja kuniambia tulituka so tukaenda tukachukua gari tukakimbia usije tulikuwa tume tume book kufika huko wakati tukawaeleze tukawapea barua yenye tulikuwa tumetoa huko kwa hiyo hosi tulikuwa tunaenda clinic ni mtoto nyamaza sorry mtoto anasumbua but tabidi tumaangize tu so tukaenda kwa hiyo hosi kufika wakatufanyia wakasema lazima wafanye scan yao wa confirm so tukaenda tukafanywa another scan ikakuwa heartbeat bado iko juu but imerudi 178 from 180 mm-hmm. wakasema bado iko juu na tuwezi kuachilia I mean nikawaambia zi lazima nifanye shoot on Monday kesho kesho ni shoot yeah, ilikuwa ilikuwa tricky mimi nikawaambia ah ah alikuwa alikuwa anasema alikuwa anasema okay just say ile kwa thing around 180 imeteremka yeah. around 10 so anasema atujui ukienda itateremka na rate gani itateremka kabisa ama itapanda juu kabisa yeah, yeah. so nimeanza kuteremka mm. ukienda inaweza teremka zaidi so unaona hey. badala i think what happened pia daktari wenye alipata pale walikuwa like hakuna like hakuna kitu na debate by the way because i remember <laughs> i remember daktari mmoja hapo na mzee mimi najaribu najaribu kuagi na way that like atakuwa na plan yoyote ya vitu kama hivyo na daktari akosema tumefika amesema amrudi ju it was on sunday na ilikuwa around date before date ten na due date yetu ilikuwa 24th September. So tuko around date 5 September. So unaona hapo hakuna plans tulikuwa na sixth, yeah. around the yeah, fifth. Yeah, yeah. Ilikuwa fifth. Wa wow. So akatuambia by the way hakuna mali mnaenda. Tukamwambia hata tutoke hapa nje tufanye nini tu debate venye tutafanya. So tukaenda hapo nje tuka call call watu akatuambia daktari is always right. Kama mm-hmm. amesema hivyo nyi kaeni huko, wewe utarudi home, unichukulie, ukuje na bag na hapo sasa na sema bag mafaa kwa mshaa pack so nenda mleta pack yeah lakini nilikuwa nime pack bag so yeah, mimi nashanga lakini yako na mimi so mimi ndio majaribu kunya room uh, director baada tunaongea na jaribu ananiambia okay i understand but now easy case hata mimi siwezi ku release easy mm. kitu tunafaa ku argue about i cannot i am going not going to release her jua hiyo Badala ya kuambia, jaribu kuagea kaniambia my friend. <laughs> Agarebe listen, unasikiza vizuri. This is not politics. Badala ya kuambia, you have to win a point. Badala ya kuambia, <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, not yeah. politics. What you have to win a point. Mm-hmm. Mimi nimekuambia and that's why I was like, okay, pass in south. Yeah. Badala sasa ikafika point when tuliongea na simu kadhaa tukakubali. So ikakuwa ni admit. So tulikuwa that seven weeks, remember? So wakatuambia mtoto bado hajamachua lungs. So kuna dawa lazima nidungwe for for two days. So nikaadmitiwa yeah, four times. Yeah, four times. So asubuhi jioni asubuhi jioni for two days eh. So nikaambiwa immediately naanza hiyo dose. Ananidunga hapo tuanze dose ya mtoto tukimonitor the heartbeat. Juu mimi kwangu nikienda home sina hiyo kitu ya kumonitor heartbeat so hakuna venye ataniachilia. But then I remember nituambia it's either It's better tutoke hapo na mtoto kuliko tutoke na turudi tukilia hatuna mtoto. So tukakubali eh. So ni tukakubali nikaadmitiwa nikafanywa hiyo sindano ya kwanza then wewe ukaenda. I remember that was my first time kwa admitted kwa OC. Anyway, first time <laughs> yangu ya kulala <laughs> OC ilikuwa ilikuwa tricky. Na kumbuka ulitoka kwa hiyo mlango nililia. I cried. I think it was a bit tricky for mm-hmm. me because England is I know like unaje ikifika ile ile kama ni ile the last week kama ile time ya mlikuwa mmejua mm. maybe uko na hizo labor unajua this is not the time even mentally you prepared everything yeah. mm. but in ile imekupara tu of god eh hey, inakuwa tricky then uko pale mazio so i think nika leto kanga au sasa kama kitu saa sita hivi yeah nilikuwa kwa nafika kwa nyumba around saa saba na usiku eh yeah, so hapo ni pale Okay so is alafu. Hai bwana. Aras aras ji kama nilipata usingizi on day by the way. Kwa si kufaa kupata baje. Kwa nini nipate hiyo siku? Si kufaa kupata usingizi but si yuko sio kama nililala hiyo siku. Hai ilikuwa ilikuwa noma. Ilikuwa ngumu. Yeah ilikuwa noma nikakoja nikalala. 
then you can rauka kukuja yeah so hakuna kitu kingine hakuna kitu kingine asubuhi tu kurauka kukuja kuona mfika wapi na tayari sindano bado anadunga asubuhi jioni i think it took like two days right yeah two days so tuli tuli niliadimitiwa mtande usiku then sasa daktari wakaniambia watani monitor for two days nikidungwa ile sindano ya mtoto ya kumachua lungs then when itakuwa wata decide kama naenda cs ama wataniachilia niende home kama itakuwa imestabilize eh? mm-hmm. so nikadungwa hizo nini so venye nilizimaliza ilikuwa on tuesday asubuhi ndo nilimaliza asubuhi so akafuambia mchana by mchana watakuwa ametuambia venye wame ame decide eh? mm-hmm. gaina akikuja so i think tukaenda kuuliza kukoaje tulikuwa tunataka kujua kama naweza enda home ni ngoje labor pains ni nini wakasema gaina amesema juu ni story na heartbeat au hezi risk niende so itabidi nifanywe scan I mean CS nifanywe CS emergency so nikabukiwa CS yangu ifanywe usiku Tuesday si ndio yeah yeah it was yeah on Tuesday yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so nakumbuka that day my mother ndio akakuja <laughs> wa akakuja akakuja usiju sasa akakuja mchana sasa juu nilikuwa nifanywe usiku ukakuja tukakaa huko mkoa na yeye tuko watatu si ndio tukakaa then sasa nini CS yangu ikapandishwa kulikuwa kunafanyika emergency fulani kama mbili so nilikuwa nifanywe saa mbili ilipushiwa mpaka around 12 mm. wewe ukasema aje amwezi enda home kama ujaona mtoto si ndio so nikapelekwa hizo rooms za ngojea cs sasa nikaenda nikadressiwa so kwa hapo ulikuwa unafikiria nini nilikuwa hapo nilikuwa nimetens sana unajua nilikuwa na zile story za wa unaenda enda cs ufanyue kwa sababu kuamka <laughs> Uzime. Wewe ni zime. Alafu ni usiku alafu ujue sijakula. Nilikatazwa kukula food sijui Tuesday asubuhi. Na sasa hizo ni saa sita usiku. So nilikuwa na fear of course. Alafu pia hiyo haikuwa ile mode tulikuwa tume tume plan tufanye. Tulikuwa sisi tunataka no more delivery ile ya vagina or something delivery. So hiyo ndo tulikuwa tume plania. So unaona tumepata off guard na CS. So of course mimi nilikuwa nimeshtuka. Na wewe? <laughs> Ah mimi nilikuwa strong. Wapi? <laughs> mimi nilikuwa strong baya sana. Yeah but eh yeye nilikuwa experience nyingine. Nyingine sana hiyo ilikuwa normal. Mm. What? Hey. Unasikia Okay. Ni kama wewe unaenda kuingia kwa laini sasa. Anje kutu hapo umepiga. I think sio watu wanafikiria ngaji hizi vitu. But kutu hapo umetulia. Unaweza kama una kuna msee tu anakupigia story but for like Like I kipiga sub zile vitu tunafikiria zile vitu zina run through your mind. Ah, vitu mingi sana. Hmm. Like unasikia wanaenda kwa line sasa. So uji like nini to what to expect? Like no. Unasikia ka two story. Unajua yeah. ile kitu nakuanga ni tutasikia ka two story. Unajua fulani ameenda. Ah, shepherd and daughter. Ah, good. Congratulations. But sasa hii ni ile kesi imekupata. So unapiga sub alafu eh alafu alafu hata utaki kufikiria unasema hizo mafikira zijikoroga huko peke yake hata utaki kufikiria ile kwa ile kwa ile kwa tricky ile kwa like long time a long night by the time naenda kugonga huko saa sita because i think it from around 8 yeah nilikuwa nimebukiwa 8 but nikaende na pushiwa tu mbele na pushiwa tu mbele ya back need to do some errands yeah tumerudi so tulikuwa kwa Niki, nikiwa kwa line tutungoja ningie theater so ikafika around 12:40 ndo niliitwa nikakuja nikapitwa uh, wakaniweka catheter sijui ni catheter ama catheter nikakataa nikaambia nitaikao huko ndani after nime nimedumwa ile sindano ya kulala so yeah so nikakujiwa nikawaambia bye mkaacha na mama mko mmeshtuka mnashangaa nitatoka ama <laughs> mtaitoa mtoto pekee <laughs> Huko tu, huko tu hii kitu. Wa. Nilikuwa nimeshtuka. Hata mimi nilikuwa nimeshtuka. Na kumka hata mkiniongelesha hata siongee mimi nimenyamaza tu. What? I know. So nikakuja tuka nikaenda theater, nikafika. So nikaambiwa nitadungwa si of course nilikuwa najua but when you wana prepare mtu tu nitadungwa sindano, nitafeel hivi 
hivi watanifanyia hivi so nikalalishwa hadi before nilalishwa nikaambiwa nikae chini niangalie chini hivi nidungwe hiyo sindano so mimi nilikuwa nime tense walijaribu mara ishu tatu inakataa so akaniambia ni relax ni nini so huyu huyu wa kufanya nini operation anaitangwa saja na mara ita hivi yule kaya mkubwa Ya huyo so akaanza kuniongelesha so hivyo ananiongelesha huyu hapo nyuma aka akanidunga so i could take long kama 5 minutes nikaanza kuambiwa oh inua mguu inua alafu nilikuwa najua wanaambianga mtu hivyo so nikiona namuuliza inainuka anacheka kwani inuki anacheka so akaniambia sawa mashina na yeye huizi hapo na kile anajua so tukali akaniambia sasa tunaanza operation sasa akaniambia nitakuwa nasikia kama nashikashikwa but in case nisikie uchungu niwaambie wa waache so ikafanyika so hiyo ilikuwa date 7 usiku eh no niliingia theater no, ilikuwa, saa 5 ilikuwa date yes date 7 niliingia theater no, sorry not 12 niliingia theater date 7 saa 5 around saa 5 na 40 So wakafanya around 12 minutes. Yeah, nikaambia ni ah niliambia 45 minutes. Nikumaliza kila kitu but mtoto anatoka the first 20 minutes eh. So around 12 12 ni donation mtoto. Nikaambiwa ni baby boy, nikamwambia nilikuwa najua ni baby boy. <laughs> so was the feeling bila sa ali nimesikia anatolea yangu na nini? Ni watu wengine sio kuna kwanza Yeah. Alitolewa kwa nini? Nikaonyeshwa mimi hata sikuwa naona kitu. But unajua ilikuwa usiku mimi nilikuwa nazima. By the way mpaka waliniekea songs niache kulala. Ilifika point wananiongelesha mimi nishalala. Wananiongelesha nishalala. So time ya mtoto nikaambiwa wewe itabidi uamke. Nikaamushwa. <laughs> nikaonyeshwa mtoto, nikaambiwa ni confirm gender, tukapata ni baby boy nikaambia nilikuwa najua. So mtoto akafanya nini? Akapelekwa na mimi sasa nikaacha niki nikishono. So tukaongea story ile wanaongelesha mtu usizime wana check pressure venye iko so experience ilikuwa poa hapo kwa dieta ilikuwa poa so si nikamaliziwa bado jinyi mko kwa baridi mnagoja mtoto <laughs> wa so wa unaona daktari anakuja kwa like anataka kukuambia nini anakuja kuniambia eh unamwambia wewe bale unajaza kuna wale madaktari wenye of course ilikuwa nimeshawajua hizo time yeah, 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 yeah. mm. so na unaona ni kama wanashughulika huko mambo ya so ukiona kitokee hivi uko like asikuwa anakuja malini yeah, asikuwa anakuja malini you see expect her to come inaitaje nini ambiwe kuja uende hey niko na daktari mtu kwa like anapita huko na relax unajua si mimi ndio yeah. si mimi anakuja kuita yeah, so around one ndo nilitoka huko ndo nimaliziwa so nikabeba nikakuja kwa inaitwa aje inaitwa aje recovery room so hapo ndo nikawakumbuka mimi hata nilikuwa nimesahau kama mko huko nikawakumbuka nikatuma na smoja nikamwambia ah alafu nikikuja hapo recovery sikuletwa na mtoto mtoto aliacho huko na manase so nikawaambia siku hata nimeona mtoto sura anakaaje siku hata nimemuona so nikawaambia hapana bwanangu wako hapo hapo nje muite mbona nani bwana yangu hapo bwana yetu sawa kama tuko wengi ni sawa nitajua tu so nikawaambia uko hapo nje uitwe uone mtoto wa kwanza yeah so si ndo ukaitwa then ukaweka kuja ukaanza ukakuja na mama ukaanza kwani mtoto wako wapi nikakwambia ajaletwa so ukaletewa ukamuona ukuwa the first person so how was that feeling ai mazi like was explain You can't explain that. Na kumbuka ule mwana ukasema, "Ai, kwani ni mzungu?" Like, you can't explain that in it because ile design like kana anakuja na kwambia, "Here's your baby." Na kama mshike acha kuogopa, mshike una after hiyo struggle yote ya kulala city like na mshika tu kwa mkono unaona. Eh? Yeah, I think ada tulisahau vitu zote tulipitia na hiyo ball the struggles the nini so ilikuwa joy 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 yeah so mtu kwa kuna shinda by the way sasa hiyo hata unajua nasifa kushikwa vizuri namna gani hata nilikuwa najua kunyonyesha what so alafu sasa after mtoto amekuja nini mkaona mtoto zimu kasema acha muende muende kwa nyumba juu hiyo au si nilikuwa room yenyewe mimi nafaa kulala peke yangu si ndio 
Sonyi mkaenda nikaacha peke yangu nikapeleka huko kwa kwa mama sasa wamezaa nikapewa kitanda yangu nikapeleka sasa kwa your fellow wa mama wa mama nikakuwa officially mama hapana mama yao mimi demo Nairobi atio atio kwa mama nikakuwa mama officially so alikuwa experience poa of course nilikuwa nimetarajia mtoto like nilikuwa nauliza atai kuja lini ni muone anakaa aje wa alikuwa uh, alikuwa msupu sio ndio kulikuwa na kaangalia hivi unashangaa huyu ni mimi nilikuwa nimebeba huyu huyu akatua hapa amelala so nyi mkaenda nikaacha huko so nakumbuka hata siku anajua kama mtoto wangu chenjua daipa ama ni kai kwa so damn like so na Ataupona. Nilikuwa nazo. Nilikuwa yeah. nisha bag, tulikuwa umeniletea bags. Umeniletea bags eh. So nikanini? So mama mwingine hapo akaniambia ni change mtoto diaper na nijaribu kumnyonyesha. Alafu remember before that. Ni, remember mimi ni saa hizi niko na kidonda sasa ya CS eh. So tunaambiwa usijaribu kulala sana. Tembea. So nakumbuka before umeenda hao ulinitembeza. Sasa nimerecover ni sasa miguu imepata nguvu. Nilikuwa nime nimekufa ile ya chini. So juu niko sawa. So ukanitembeza ukanitembeza. Ya yeah, so nilikuwa nasema ulikuwa umenitembeza hiyo asubuhi. Hiyo eh, asubuhi sasa ni asubuhi imekuwa asubuhi. Ndio mlitoka mlitoka wa C6. Eh ma. Ungasema acha. Yeah, actually to yeah, to kwenda home immediately. Mm. Mlikana yeah. mimi kidogo. Yo sahi ni mpaka sasa tumekaa mpaka kitu saa mtoto tumetoka saa saba sio kukaa kumwonaona kidogo kujua vile una feel yeah. ile kwa of course yeah so to pass spend time but mm. by morning yeah mkatoka around 6 eh mkaniache sasa so ndo nilikuwa nasema hata siku anajua mtoto uchenjiwa diaper so mama mwingine akanionyesha venye nachenjiwa venye nitanyonyesha but pia manaswa alikuwa anakuja anakusaidia so unfortunately mtoto wangu hakuwa ananyonya kalikataa kunyonya for 24 hours hiyo ilikuwa stress nyingine na kumbuka nishinda kwa call. Aja nyonya, aja nyonya, aja nyonya ni nini nini. Then after mlienda babangu akakuja akaniona, akaniambia wewe mtoto atanyonya ni nini nini. Yeah. So officially tukakuwa na mtoto. So tukakaa another one day. Then uh, kukaa one day tuka tukarudi home. Yeah, I think atoka kaa sana. Tukakaa sana because yakokuwa na like vitu mingi. Mm. Everything was just okay. Mtoto kwa sawa kila kitu naangalia kwa 100%. Mm. Yeah, tuko kusema tuitaji kukaa pale. Yeah. Ni nyumbani kama kuna any check ups ni mtu do. Yeah, nilikuwa na, naenda sasa dressing after a day. Naenda ku dressiwa ni nini nini. But ilikuwa tu experience poor but mi kwangu we, karibu nileme but we thank God. Yeah, yeah. I understand that, that was like the whole experience. Mm. Nilikuwa tu ile kuna time zenye una feel kongumu kidogo yeah. but generally unajua kuna kuna pikeze zile cha normal but then the day una feel like uh, wow mshinda mm. yeah so i think we you know, at the end of the day ili unajua sasa after unapata mtoto hizo hiyo time yote unakuwa na hizo challenges nyingi nyingi mambo mengi unapitia ah hizo una forget ah mm, una forget una forget yeah. mm. so tukakuwa na mtoto then tukakuja home eh? na ikakuwa hivyo So story yetu like mimi kwa hiyo story yote mimi naweza encourage watu wenye mnatafuta mtoto nini nini God's time is the best eh? kuna siku tu itafika uone God amekubless eh? na ushike mtoto wako si ati ilikuwa rahisi kwetu maybe kuna vitu zenye tulipitia before tufike hapa nini nini but we thank God now the baby is 8 months old and we really really thank God Yeah. This far mambo iko poa. Kuna zile challenges za nini parenthood. I think tutafanya video nyingine about experience sasa ya kulea mtoto. Wewe unataka wiki nzima juu. Wewe unataka mtoto wako. Yeah. So hiyo ndo story yetu ya pregnancy na ku deliver. Mm. Yeah. And we are so grateful by the way. Yeah, ilikuwa ilikuwa fit, ilikuwa fit. Mm. Yeah. Na appreciate sana by the way wala kwa hiyo nzia yote. Ikuwa na zingine. Sana. Uh, ha? Unashikwa siku azienti. But then ilifika tukiwa that 5 weeks tuko zile za ai. Azisongi kabisa. Kuna masiku azisongi. Uh, like we are so eager to see the baby mpaka like but eventually alikuja. Yeah, we thank God that's our story. Mm. Yeah. So before we end this happy mother's day to every mom out there. 
So happy Mother's Day to all moms and uh, and then to a strong na kulea watoto vizure. So I think we'll end this video here. Ama unafanya unafanya ni? No, just uh, to thank our fans for uh, watch our content, everything, every time to upload. Kwa shukuru, mm. na pia kwa wish of Mother's Day wa mama, mm -hmm. not si kila mtu na wish to wa mama, happy Mother's Day okay. ya yeah, unakuja so na ya understand tunaza fungi up right yeah. so that was our story thank you so much for watching yeah, until next time bye bye, bye.